When we had last left, Andreas, Baron Rothvogel, Lorenz Loth- Rothvogel, was murdered at the Abbey. By who? It seemed as if Piero was the most immediate suspect. However, also a very unlikely suspect. Andreas was presented with several leads and was called... Oh my gosh. And was called to investigate and also took a look at the body, which revealed also some other truths. However, now it was time to find someone to eat with. This is Pentiment. Welcome back. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, this again. Right. Good refresher, though. Okay. Just a step from uh, the end of last time. There is actually no hard saving in this game, so we are at the whim of autosaves. Okay. But, for the most part, they're fairly generous. Or, very generous, even. Okay. Should we look around... Well, no, we probably shouldn't, because we're not meant to be here, right? We don't want to get um, our friend in trouble. Florian. Hey, Till. Hello, Master Muller. Hello. Oh. A shrine to St. Moritz. The statue looks ancient. Was there a candle lit there before? Hmm. Okay. Maybe we could have a meal with someone we should investigate, right? Like... Old, uh, what's his name? With the bald head. Let's see. Town Commons. Zimmerman House? Now, here, let's look over in this. People. Let's see, what was his name? Hmm, not there. Oh, there. Lucky. Lucky Lin- Leonard Lucky Steinauer. Okay. And where are they at? They're like up that away, right? Oh. Meal. Oh, we can choose a house to go dine at. And see if they want us, I guess? Huh. Oh, whose house is this? Oh, the guest house. Huh, we could eat there? With who, I wonder? There's the charcoal burner. Okay. I think this is the bald dude. We could also check in with Franz Bauer and the widow Kemperin. Right? That's also a major lead for us as well. Let's go over this way. Oh. Hey, Andres. What's up? Hello, Andreas. There we go. Central Town. Alban Bakery. Is this the one that's on our list? And the Midwife. Okay. The Steinauer house is the midwife. Okay. Let's do it then. Perfect. Should we talk to her or him first? I'm thinking her. Because speaking with him, since he's like a suspect, will advance us beyond this scene. Agnes. Good day, Andreas. Did you need something? Might I eat with you and Lucky? I realize we've never shared a meal together. Not just now. Be well, Agnes. Might I eat with you and Lucky? I realize we've never shared a meal together. It would be my pleasure. Are you hungry now? Ravenous. Thank you, Agnes. Not just this moment, but perhaps later. Yeah. Sure, let's go for it. Let's eat, then. Okay. How, how did we make Lucky sound? 
Bless us, O oh Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. And we pray you keep safe the souls of the two innocents who rest at your side. They are dearly missed. <laughs> Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 Whoa, look at this, some fish. You're looking tired, Agnes. Did Els Elsa keep you up late? Who is this? I don't know if we know that person. I don't mind it. She needs the support, and I'm happy to give it. Someone has to look after the women of this town, and Werner hardly cares to. Right, we know Werner. He's kind of a prick. Is Else the Miller's wife? You don't care for the doctor? Let's bring up the doctor. I want to know more about why he is specifically callous toward the care of women in the town. He's terrible. Haven't you met him? A stuck-up ass who thinks he knows everything just because he went to a fancy university. Oh, reactivity. You would be a better doctor than he is. At least you care about the townspeople and listen when I talk. Oh, because of our medical uh, specialization. Pa. Else deserves better than his clammy attentions. The women of Tassing are lucky to have you as their midwife, Agnes. Is Else the Miller's wife? Let's be kind. The women of Tassing are lucky to have you as their midwife, Agnes. God bless you for saying so, Andreas. Remember. I try to do right by the women here, as I hope they would do right by me. It's the Christian thing to do. Even if the woman in question is Else M Millerin. Is Else the Miller's wife? Married to Len Lenhard Miller, yes. I'm surprised you haven't met her yet. Oh. I haven't met him either. He looks like a, like, <laughs> fucking rogue in a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. <laughs> he looks like a party member is going to roll a rogue. All he needs is, like, it, his hair a little longer and tied into a ponytail. Okay. Did something happen to her? She lost a child a few weeks back. She was overjoyed when she finally quickened, but her bleeding returned soon after. It has been difficult for her, but she has been through it before. She will make it through again. Oh, I ate uh, some of this. She is strong in her love of Christ, and in her and in love of her husband. She does dote on him, though Leonard hardly deserves it. Why is that? The miller is not a kind man, not to the peasants and not to his wife. Spreading rumors is not Christian behavior, Agnes. It's hardly a secret. The man has power in this town, and he makes certain we all know it. Take it as a caution, Andreas. Don't get on the Miller's bad side. His unkindness is doubtless what's caused her bleeding. Hmm, noted. Holy shit. I mean, that's a wild conclusion to make, but... I mean, if that's what she's getting at... Hmm. It's entirely possible. But we're so certain here, I'm hesitant to say it. But we aren't being accusatory right here, are we? Let's just bring it up and see what they have to say, I think, right? Because we're not saying it to the Miller, right? His unkindness is doubtless what's caused her bleeding. Elsa's imagination must be protected against troubling experiences. A mother's spiritual well-being is just as important as physical health. I've tried to tell Lenhart the same, but I'm just a village midwife. 
I'm afraid my opinion is not worth muck, or much to a man like him. Oh no, muck worked there too. Don't trouble yourself, Andreas. She has her son, Paul, for comfort. He is a sweet boy, and he adores his mother. Who's Paul? Oh shit, you really are like a child. Okay. If he is all the Lord grants her, she will still be blessed. The best thing we can do for else is care for her as neighbors, like Christ tells us to. She isn't the only one in Tassing who struggles in her marriage. Even Brigida has her troubles. Shit, I haven't met this person either. Martin Bauer's wife? Oh, I didn't realize she was your daughter. Oh, fuck. Your daughter is married to Martin? The Martin? Yeah. I remember hearing that he was married and being surprised by that. But not like, who? To who, I should say. Our only living child, yes. God rest their souls. We should never have agreed to their marriage. She deserves better than Martin Bauer. She loves him lucky, and she had to marry sometime. What could we do? Found a man who isn't such a useless shit. At least we got Wolf out of it. I'll make sure he grows up solid. He'll become a great stonemason. Oh, look at that little bean. Oh, Looks so sad, too. Oh. Just like his grandpa. Okay, what have we got to eat here? Trout? Farmer's bread? Man, what did I eat? That's the second time I've just, like, clicked and accidentally ate something. Okay. Well, fuck it. Let's get some trout. Now, why don't you tell Andreas about your work at the Abbey? You said you found something strange in the building? Strange how? Ah, that. I was repairing a cr <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm still trying to find his voice. I was repairing a cracked wall down in the crypt. The abbey used to be a Roman fort. Right. So, it's no spring hen. I bumped into a relief of the virgin, and a door slid open. It was the damnedest thing. I discovered the same thing. A fascinating architectural detail, to be sure. Where did it lead? Wow, reactivity to me having found it ahead of time, too. Cool. Let's say it. That old abbey's full of secrets. Make no mistake. Anyway, stuck my head up through the trapdoor, and one of the nuns screamed. You didn't tell me that part. I felt bad for scaring them. Oh, I ate the bread. You must have frightened Sister Illuminata half to death. <laughs> I doubt Sister Jedna minded. She's not exactly afraid of men. Right, she's the horny one. Let's bring up Sister Illuminata, though, right? Who is my prime suspect. You must have frightened Sister Illumina half to... death. Ah, I probably should have knocked first. Never know what you'll find behind a closed door. Speaking of work, I should get back to it. Still lots to fix after that storm. It was lovely having you, Andreas. Take care, Agnes. Lucky. Thank you for your hospitality. See you around the Abbey, I expect. I kind of like them, right? I kind of... <laughs> they're both, like... They're kind people until, like, you get on their bad side by way of, like, being cruel to them or, like, uh, people that they care for as well, right? They're kind of harsh in that way. But there is still a kindness about them. Interesting how, like, well-developed, I guess, like, the personalities of everyone is in town, despite there being so many different people already. I should get some sleep. Or we'll break into the library. Ooh, should I break into the library? Hmm. 
Let's chat with Lucky real quick. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Andreas. Huh. I mean, should I break into the library on the first night? Following the death? Huh. It's getting late. I should head back to the Gertners and get some sleep. I have a lot of work ahead of me if I'm going to figure out who really killed the Baron. But I could also try to break into the library to take a look at those records. What to do? Hmm. No, let's wait. Let's wait. We'll break into the library tomorrow. Assuming we'll be able to. Okay. I wonder if it would play out differently depending on what day we choose to do it. If at all, right? Because you can also elect not to do it. Alright. The Gertners. Or should we head somewhere else? Do you think there's anyone else out and about at this hour? Look, I haven't even ever been here. Johan's family keeps beehives for the honey and wax. It's locked up. Franz Bauer and the Widow Kemperin? Yeah, I've never been out this way. What's this? These figures look like they were carved by someone without formal training. Otilia's home. Right, they're a little bit, um, in the older pagan ways, right? Otilia and Ill Peter. Franz Bowers. Okay. Got some cool pigs over there. The church and the Druckers. Oh. Gotcha. Spits this out here. Okay. Sure. Okay, yeah. Let's head on back to the Gertners. I wonder if we can debrief with them. Nah, they're probably all snoozing. Okay. I wonder if everyone has something different to say on every day. Right? Like, I wonder how many different permutations there are of shit for people to say, or if, like... Sure, surely that can't be the case, right? Surely it would be, like, you go to speak with them... Right, because we only have two days and so many meals in between those two days before, um, who is it, the Archdeacon arrives? Right? Surely there is not reactivity depending, like, there's not a completely different conversation you have depending on which day you speak. That can't be the case, given how many different places we could have chosen to eat. Right. Alright, let's head on up. And let's snooze. It's getting late. I should get some rest. But this would be the perfect time to sneak into the library. The game really wants me to do it. Should I do it? Huh. I mean, we should be able to do it next time, right? There's no reason we can't do it tomorrow evening. Right? Hmm. Hmm. Is there a downside to doing it tomorrow? No, because if we get caught breaking in, then at the very least we'll have permissions. But also if we get... If we go in, we might find something more incriminating on the killer tonight because they'll have had less time to hide it. Right? Especially if the killer is Illuminata. Which I don't know, that's still a wild-ass theory. Okay. Would I rather potentially get caught breaking into the library, or potentially... lose out on seeing some part of the crime? Right? Like a murder weapon. 
or the records even. The records might be important. Because I would guess that would be the difference, right? Something will be changed if you go on a different day. Fuck it, let's go tonight. Fuck it. Stay awake. Let's break in, baby. Okay. There we go. And let's go up this way. Okay, and we want to go to Church and Druckers, right? There's the mill. Apparently, home to an asshole. <laughs> okay. And then, over this way. Good. So what's the best way to break in there? Let's check our map. Right, so there's the library. We're over here. I'm assuming we're not going to be able to get into the place via the Abbott house, right? It's probably locked. And there's probably people inside of it. Yeah, locked. Okay. Good, good, good. Now... Let's go into the cloister, I guess. Okay, and then... Should we head through the cemetery or Old Bailey? It is pretty dangerous going through the cloister, as far as getting caught is concerned. Let's go through the cemetery. Oh shit, look at the fireflies out at night. Cool. I like it. Oh yeah, we can look at this again. We still don't know what relevance this holds. Brother Gerhard's grave was disturbed recently. Ferenc must have buried something here. What? I need to dig up this grave if I want to know what he was up to. I should get Father Gerno's permission first. I bet Otto would help me if I asked. Perhaps Brother Volkbert would lend me a hand. Huh. So we should do it with someone. Hmm. I don't want to try to ask for permission. Right? Huh. I think Otto. I'm cool with Otto. I don't really know Brother Volkbert, though. So let's go with Otto. Disturbed grave. Oh shit, occult hands. Sure. Wow, good thing we came through the fucking cemetery, huh? Prior's house? We can enter here? Oh right, yeah. The cipher and the little note. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, the way that we were going to break into the library, it was from... It wasn't the cellar, was it? No. Let's see. Huh. Let's see, where would it be? No... Let's see, the Baron's man, no. Uh, hmm. It was down below, wasn't it? Maybe our map reveals it? Because I won't be able to just get in through the scriptorium, because that's locked. I forgot what room it was that had it, though. Maybe the infirmary? Or the... It wasn't the dormitory. Maybe the refectory. 
Okay, let's go back to the cloister. Or was it the kitchen and cellar? No, it was a place that had like a bunch of statues and shit. Was this it? I don't think so. When the brothers eat their meals, this is where the lector reads to them. Large garden? No. Hmm. It was in this building, right? Maybe it was in the cellar? Oh, can we check in on Piero? Oh, we can't. Okay. Sure. Cloister again. Dormitory is locked. Church, no dice. Oh, maybe it was the bottom of the, you know, those two doors, the like stairway doors? Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Matthew is the Abbey's circuitor. If he sees me, he'll kick me out. Circuitor. Monk responsible for making rounds in the Abbey to make certain everyone is where they are supposed to be, doing what they are supposed to do. I have to keep out of sight until he's passed. Good thing he can't see well. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. But he's really good at smelling. <laughs> he smelled the trout. Come on, Andreas. You just have to, like, hoist yourself up a small hallway using your legs, and do like a ceiling takedown, Sam Fisher style. <laughs> okay. Let's go into the crypt. This was it, baby. Foundations of the Abbey. Yep, we saw that. Which means over here. This is what we want, right? Oh, no, wait. Not yet. This is what we want. <laughs> it's still open. If I go up these stairs, it's going to take a while to find the records I need. I'll lose some time tomorrow morning, unless I turn back now. Oh, interesting. Huh. We do have to- so we do have, like, an allotment of time, and we have to figure out how we want to spend it on our investigation. Right? Well, I think this is worthwhile. Enter the library. The Baron and the Nun. Search the Nun's records. Oh my gosh. There's a rat blowing me a kiss. <laughs> Read? What's this? De, de Urbis Cambrai. On the herbs of whales. I didn't know whales could grow herbs. The ra <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was rough. The writer is... Cadphalus of Salopia. I don't believe I've heard of him. Interesting. He writes about butcher's broom. The Greeks used it to aid with urination and defecation. This author claims it can also help with reduction of swelling. He seems to be speaking from experience. A wonderful hidden treasure for the Abbey. Hmm. Okay. That is a wonderful hidden treasure. I can't go up, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Have I not been actually, like, able to... <laughs> Have I been able to go up a lot of stairs I just haven't tried correctly? I'm just a doofus? Okay, read. What do we have here? Hmm. A bifolium from the Mysteria Astra. I've read a number of treatises on astronomy, but I've never heard of this one. Seems rudimentary, explaining the connection between astrological signs and the elements, and their basic relationship to alchemy. I wonder if whoever had this out reading about it was tied to the usage of the cipher. Each sign is governed by one of the four elements. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces are the water signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo are the earth signs, and so on. It cuts off there. The next page is about something else entirely. Sister Illuminata must be trying to reconstruct the larger text. Hmm. We scribe and illustrate by folio out of page order. 
so the shift of subject isn't surprising. It would make more sense once it were bound. Oh, okay. Those two pages were interesting enough, I suppose, but quite basic. Let's use one of our insights for being married to the craft. Those two pages were interesting enough, I suppose, but quite basic. Wait. That's the connection between the astrological symbols on Ference's cipher and the elemental symbols on the Volvel. This must be the text he referenced to create his cipher. Interesting. That would have been much simpler to solve if I'd seen this first. Okay, so we did it hard mode. How about this? This is most curious. Historae de Labyrintho Librorum. Librorum. Account of the Labyrinth of Books. Holy shit. Hmm. I wonder what secret text could be hidden in such a place. It appears to be quite complicated and extraordinary tale. We gotta go with our uh, occult reactivity here. I'll have to see if I can borrow the book when I have some free time. If Illuminata allows it. Okay. And then up here. Good. Look at this book. Looks very important. That's how a lot of them do. Good way to throw me off, I guess. <laughs> this looks promising. The familiar... The familiaries of the Sisters of Kearsaw Abbey. Yes. Oh. We can point at something and read it. Mother Catherine was the first to enter records, it looks like. Almost 50 years ago. Sister Hildegard from the Golden Goldahitch Goldahitch family in or the Goldrich family in Ravensburg. Quite wealthy. It looks like she became the prioress after Mother Catherine. Cecilia. Sister Cecilia. Edelheit? Oh. This is Mother Cecilia's record. Wait. She's from the Velser family? They're one of the most powerful families in Augsburg. It looks like her family donates a lot of money to Kearsaw every year. More than my family sees in ten. Holy shit, she's loaded. Sister Gertrude from Hof, the herbalist, yes. Her father is an apothecary. That explains it. Matilda Oblate, yes, the nun's cellarer. She came from Kempton. Cellarer? Appointed official in a monastery responsible for maintaining food, supplies, and for maintaining the grounds. I remember you. Okay. Merchant family, they donated pigments to use in the scriptorium. Quite thoughtful. I have to thank them if I ever get the chance. Oh, this should be interesting. Sister Illuminata. Named Angeline from the Capocci family in Perugia. It looks like they have some connection to Kearsaw through an old abbot. Rudolph? Her family donates to the abbey every year as well. And here's an underline section we can click on too. Let's do this. It's under Matilda again. Hmm. This note says Sister Matilda left the Abbey for several months. Why would she go to a hermitage? Seems strange that she's the only entry with such a note. The dates? Three years ago? This was just before Father Matthias died. Which means it was around the time Baron Ruth Vogel visited. <gasps> Matilda is the one who was bearing a child? Maybe? That's why she left. That's why she had the time of absence. She was the one that Roth Vogel beat, I bet. This has to be it. Matilda must be the nun the Baron harmed on his last visit. I should talk to Mother Cecilia again. 
and maybe Sister Matilda as well. Holy shit. I would have never guessed her. Okay. Next page. Oh wait, is there anything else I can click? Good thing I didn't- I, <laughs> I noticed the underline there. I was just going for the red text. Let's see. More for Cecilia. How about over here? Sophie! From Burgess. Who is Sophie? Oh yeah, we never actually spoke with Sophie. I don't think. Or if we did, it was very briefly. Maybe she was outside. Her family is poor, but they donated flour. Lisbeth Oblate. She's from Utrecht. I definitely don't remember Elizabeth. It looks like she had an eventful life before coming here. Married with a child. Both died. Her merchant family has some connection to Kearsaw through the Kaufmans of Rothen Obder Tober. Sister Margaret. Oh, the blind girl who is Sis Gertrude. Oh, right. Huh. That's interesting. So why was... Wasn't she the one who was screaming the most? Because of the event? I wonder why that was, especially if she couldn't, like, see it. Huh. Because usually one scream, you would get that, right? Blind or not. But multiple screams in a row after it's already dawned on you? If you can't see it? Like, maybe if you kept seeing more and more grisly details, I, I could s understand that. Huh. I don't know, maybe it was a way for her to get someone's attention or help? She went blind because of failed surgery on her cataracts. Wealthy peasant family. They donated wool and a pasture in Krimmel. Jeez. Yeah, that's wild. Sister Jedna. This should be good. <laughs> they donate a fortune to the Abbey. No wonder Mother Cecilia and the Abbot let her behave as she does. Ah, okay. Oh, that's it, I think. Let's just quickly mouse through here and make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, I think we're good. Fascinating. Talk to Cecilia or Matilda. Okay. Anything else? Speak with Matilda. Let's head on down. Dude. It's all coming together, huh? I bet it was fucking Illuminata. She did it to get back. Uh-oh. What? You? The singing guy. Rutger or Rutiger. Or oh, are they supposed to be here? Oh, they're smooching! Oh, shit! What in the... Wo it was Rudiger singing Rudiger and, uh... Oh my gosh, what's his name? Who was just outside? Fuck, I can't remember his name. Glasses guy. Ellipses. Shit. <laughs> that, that's how... That's how my interpretation of it. Not like, shit. Or shit. But like... Shit. <laughs> I'll break for the stairs. They can't possibly catch me. I'll talk to them. We can work this out. We'll come to an understanding. All right. I just need to wait for Rudiger and Matthew to leave. Just a little patience. Oh, fuck. We really have some choices here. What am I going to do now? Just wait for them to finish. Then leave. It can't take that long, can it? You should speak with them openly, in good faith, as men of reason. Run for it! Go, go, go! <laughs> Fuck. Huh. Hmm. Honestly, I feel kind of like we should speak to them openly. In good faith. 
right? Because we both have, right? We'll have mutual amounts of dirt on one another, and that could get me, right? That could get me in their good graces in the future, you know? If I need help, we'll, we'll be, like, in cahoots with one another. Whereas if I just hold it over them in secret, then it only comes out as a negative later, right? It's like, oh, yeah, well, if you don't do this, then I'll say so-and-so or whatever. That said, maybe this is naive thinking. But like I said, they have something to hide, too. I don't want to rat them out, but I feel like it could be advantageous to us in the future. Fuck it. Let's go openly. It could go badly. We're both in an awkward position. What they're up to is dangerous business in a few ways. They won't be happy about me being here. It could go badly. We're both in an awkward position. I'll have to choose my words carefully. I'll talk to them. We can work this out. We'll come to an understanding. <laughs> Man, okay. It does... The game is, like, signposting that you can do that, and there is a way for it to resolve well, but you can also make it resolve poorly. <laughs> so this is just, like, raising the stakes. Double or nothing, baby. Double or nothing. I'll talk to them. We can work this out. We'll come to an understanding. Oh, well, hello, good evening. Wh what What are you doing here? Andreas, what is the meaning of this? Did you follow us in here? Uh, no, I was just out for an evening walk. I don't care what you two are up to. That's between you and God. I didn't mean to alarm you. I came looking for clues about who killed the Baron. Just let me walk out of here or I'm going to tell the abbot what I just saw. What should I say? Let's think. What should I say to them? This is a delicate situation, to be sure. They're understandably concerned. If their tryst, tryst is discovered, they could be expelled from Kearsaw. Maybe worse. You could be open about it. Say it's none of your business and suggest you go your separate ways. Tell them the truth. You're looking for clues about the murder so you can save Piero's life. Threaten them. Say you're going to tell the abbot they were screwing. What are they going to do? Hmm. I definitely don't want to say it's none of my business and just, like, go our separate ways because then they'll think that I'll hold it over them. Right? I think I want to approach this very truthfully. Tell them the truth. You're looking for clues about the murder so you can save Piero's life. Hmm. They'll probably be sympathetic, and it will be clear that I didn't come here to spy on them. Matthew might be suspicious, but I think I can convince him. Matthew, that's right. Er, no, I was just out for an evening walk. I don't care what you two are up to. That's between you and God. I didn't mean to alarm you. I came looking for clues about who killed the Baron. Just let me walk out of here, or I'm going to tell the abbot what I just saw. Okay, this one. I came looking for clues about who killed the Baron. I know Brother Piero didn't do it. Someone else from the abbey or the town has to be responsible. You know Piero is a good man and a pious monk. I can't let him die. Oh, good. I can't believe Brother Piero could... Could murder... I'm sorry. It's just... So shocking. I pray that God will deliver mercy to Piero and bring the true culprit to light. I'm glad you are doing what you can to help him. It's difficult for the rest of us to act, given the abbot's opinion. Andreas, how does skulking in the library help you prove Brother Piero's innocence? I'm not sure. Do you know why Sister Matilda was sent to a hermitage? A hermitage? Hmm. I do recall a period where she was absent, yes. One day she was just gone. I don't know why. 
I don't normally concern myself with Mother Cecilia's business. I never spoke with her, but Vojislav told me that she was sent away to a hermitage for her health. Rudiger. Why does Vojislav know about Matilda's whereabouts? Who is Vojislav again? Oh. Bald dude with the chops. We haven't had a chance to talk with Vojislav. One on one, at least. They are both cellarers, and have reason to go to town on behalf of the Abbey. Just as you have more contact with Sister Illuminata than I, Brother Warshlav has more contact with Sister Matilda. In any event, I wish you good fortune with proving Brother Piero's innocence. I trust you will keep all of this to yourself? So long as you do the same. All of what? Huh. Are we being coy, like, in a fun way? Like, all of what? You know? Are we being... Are we being fun? Are we having a little fun here when we say all of what? Because if that's true, then that comes across as more lighthearted and easygoing than so long as you do the same. Which sounds like a threat. I think we're being fun. Let's say all of what? Fine. We should go. Good night, Andreas. Oh yeah, I think it came across that way. Wow. Cool. Holy shit. Man, those two as well? I, I would have never guessed it. those two. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, Ursula. It's a little late. Andre! Good more. Stare at this child. Good more. Oh, it's not morning. Ellipses. It's the middle of the night, Ursula. What are you doing up here? How did you get out of bed? What are you doing up here? Ellipses. I see. <laughs> Ellipses. Would you like me to tell you a story? Would that help you sleep? Mm. Have you heard the story of the cat in the cradle? Oh, reactivity. Let me tell you the story of the little girl who haunted the sleepy artist. Let's go with their Flanders reactivity. Have you heard the story of the cat in the cradle? Oh, reactivity. Or, she'll remember it. Far up north in Flanders, where Lenhart's mill came from. There's a town by the sea. A hundred years ago, there was a great flood there on the feast of St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, she became pregnant in old age after it was foretold by the Arca. You know how mad your dad gets when the water comes through your farm? Well, it was like that, but much worse. If your dad saw St. Elizabeth's flood, he'd probably lose all his hair on the spot. The waters rose so high that everyone had to leave the town. Many families lost their homes. When the flood waters went down, the townsfolk went to look for survivors. Would you believe that they saw a baby's cradle floating in the water? Ellipses from Ursula. I know. It strains credulity. But it's about to get even stranger. There was a cat on the cradle. It was jumping back and forth to keep the waves from getting in. The townsfolk couldn't believe it, so they slowly rode their way out to the cradle. And when they looked inside, what did they see but a tiny baby, warm and dry? <laughs> anyway. That's why they named the town Kinderdijk. <laughs> Ellipses. Makes more sense if you know Dutch. <laughs> Ellipses. Aww. 
Oh shit, yeah, we... Oh fuck. <laughs> Damn, okay, yeah, I know how that is. <laughs> we wake up right at uh, our first meal of the day. Okay, sure. <laughs> that checks out. Yeah, I've been there, Andreas. Shit. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Alright, well, I suppose when next we come back, we gotta find somebody to eat with, right? Who? I'm not sure. Maybe one of our potential investigations. I'm assuming we won't be able to eat with the nuns as much as I would like to because they are at the top of our list at the time being. We'll see. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.